We've, we've signed with the government of Ghana. We're working on financing models and raising the capital, uh, finalizing the raise of the capital definitively for the project in Ghana. Countries all over the world recognize the importance and effect of rail network because it is the most efficient, the quickest, and cheapest method of transporting people and goods in the world. Rail will have the ability to improve transportation, income, infrastructure, development, and productivity. The Ghana's government believes that investing in railway infrastructure will accelerate the country's economic development because 90, 96 of Ghana's transportation is by road. For us to go further and know more, subscribe to this channel, like the video, and turn on your notification bell to be notified whenever we post a new video. Let's keep the ball rolling. Ghana's government has signed an agreement with TeloDB Consortium for a 3.2 billion US dollar project to develop and make operational its Western Railway line. TeloDB is a South African railway incorporated between Telo Ventures, an African industrial company, and Germany's Deutsche Bahn engineering and consultant DB. Telo DB Consortium also includes Ghanaian Partner Transport Consult. Ghana's railway sector has a story, a long story to tell with no ending from its glorious days before even the, the country got its independence to date. The Western Railway Line runs a total of 339 kilometers, that is uh, 210 miles from Tapade Port to Kumasi, but only 66 kilometers is operational. But according to the website of Ghana's Ministry of Railway Development, where it is listed as a priority project. Two mines are on this route, including Ghana's manganese mine at Sinsuta and a bauxite mine at Awasu, which used to use the railway until it collapsed, according to the ministry. This railway line also goes through Ghana's cocoa growing regions. Formerly, cocoa used to be transported in significant quantity by rail until 2006. Transportation of cement, mining equipment, and petroleum will also benefit for the construction of this railway line. Mr. Ronnie Intulin, the chairman of TeloDB, said in a statement that when this uh, project is completed, it will transform Ghana's existing railway infrastructure base into a modern, robust, and integrated railway system with an associate infrastructure to position Ghana. Ghana's rail network as a leading transport in Africa. Well, Ghana, if you look at the position of Ghana, it's incredibly strategic, very stable country over many, many years. So from a capital mobilization and deployment, very attractive, uh, which was exciting for us. The Western Corridor, if you look at the geography and geology of Ghana, most agricultural and mineral resources sit on the Western side of the country that is Ghana. So that corridor exists, but is in a state of disrepair, so to say. So what we've agreed with the government of Ghana is basically to modernize that entire corridor and then to build branch lines into areas where there's mineral deposits and agricultural deposits. What does modernize uh, mean? The capacity, as I was saying earlier, the capacity that we're bringing to the continent of Africa is the ability to carry a project from feasibility study to design and engineering to project management which includes construction oversight to make sure that it's to standard uh, and then after that to do uh, testing and commission commissioning below rail and above rail and then operations and maintenance but importantly in that value chain for us is also that we are committed to training local uh, Africans in the area of railways. That means from a uh, blue collar train driver all the way through to executives for the railway sector. Uh, our ambition is quite broad for the continent. So what we will need as TeloDB is a cater, uh, a, a mass cater of people that can operate our various projects. So. It is in our absolute interest, as much as it is in, in, in the interest of Ghana or any other country that we're working with, 
to have people trained and employed. In a statement issued by the company, they have already signed a framework agreement for the transportation of the Western Railway Line project with the government of Ghana during the ministerial program hosted by the African Continental Free Trade Secretariat in Accra. We've, we've signed with the government of Ghana. We're working on financing models and raising the capital, uh, finalizing the raise of the capital definitively for the project in Ghana with the support currently of uh, uh, Deutsche Bahn who have experienced in this for, for years and years. Thank you for watching. If you like impressive videos like this, do subscribe to our channel, like this video and remember to leave your comment below about your thoughts on this project. Also browse our channel for more of such videos. Watch out for our next impressive video.